Hey y'all, uh, in this video, a viewer asked how to make a golf cart go faster, and, uh, you know, thought, well, I could just easily respond to that, and then realize that it's a more complex question uh, than just a simple point at something and say, do that, and it'll go faster. Um, so this video is going to be me explaining some options that I've seen out there and the options that I've taken, but also expressing some concerns with um, options out there. So how to make a golf cart go faster. I'm going to try and use broader terms so that anybody who doesn't have a Yamaha G29 can also apply this to their thinking, making their decisions. So... Uh, let's start off with the, uh, the power plant. I say that because this first, this first option, well, let me say there's really only three options out there to make a go, golf cart go faster. Um, option one is the power plant. So let's get electric out of the way. Electric carts, I've seen that you can buy different controllers and different motors. So... If you want your golf cart to go faster with an electric setup, I would look at um, motor controllers. They seem to be um, good bang for the buck. And you can also get different motors to bolt in there, which will also change um, RPM speed. You're, you're, you're running highest running RPM and also torque. Um, so depending on what you're looking for, those are options to look at. Um, working on an electric cart, I have seen those options, the controllers and the motors, they kind of seem to run around, um, 300 to $700 per option there, depending on what you want to play with. So I don't have any knowledge. I don't have any interaction with electric golf carts and upgrading them like that. So, um, I would definitely do your research now, as far as gas carts go, the power plant you can do one of two things first one is you can do an engine swap and i'm not talking about putting a motorcycle engine in there i'm talking about there are kits out there uh, that you can put in this golf golf cart bolts on and you can get a faster higher horsepower engine with a higher horsepower you also get more torque uh, so if the want is for more uh, towing capacity or carrying capacity as far as the engine being able to handle it, you know, you could look at doing an engine swap to something bigger. That has been a thought in my mind for this golf cart. That is something that will I will consider further down the road once I get done with uh, all the other upgrades here. Uh, the second option with an engine is adjusting the governor. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do that because there are plenty of videos out there uh, on YouTube to show you how to do it where people actually have taken off the body and shown you right where it is and how to do it. Uh, the way I found out when I first got this golf cart was a video by DIY Golf Carts and it's the Yamaha G29 governor video. So take a look at that. Now, with that being said, uh, when you raise the governor, you are raising the, R, uh, the engine RPM. And from the factory, if I remember correctly, they said that this engine max out between 34 and 3600 RPM. Raising that RPM, you are running the risk of blowing the engine. So... If you adjust the governor, which, mind you, is not does not give you that much more top end speed. It will go faster, but you're talking about giving it an extra three miles an hour. Not You're not unlocking uh, an additional 20 miles an hour underneath there. You're only bumping up the RPM. It'll go a little faster, but you run a very high risk of blowing the engine. So um, when... When I did all these upgrades in my other video, I believe I titled it tuning, I was adjusting the pedals and I was adjusting the governor arm. 
to get the system to run the way I want. So I actually found that when adjusting the system, tuning the system correctly, I found that my cart performed a lot better, made it feel more uh, responsive. The top end was smoother. Um, based on the pedal position, I got the power where I wanted it. So that takes care of the engine. Engine swap or uh, adjusting the governor arm, but you can blow the engine with that. Option number two to make this golf cart go faster is buying a set of gears and they do make those uh they're a set of of gear drive gears that go into your um the the whole drive assembly the transmission if you want to call it um i think i've seen them run sets run from about let's just say right around four hundred dollars that's four hundred dollars for two gears and then you've got to drop out the whole rear axle the transmission split that apart install them and put it all back together that is something i have not done so i can't speak any anything to it that it's easy or how hard it is or what you need to do break in process i have no knowledge of it but i do know that that they are out there and you can get different ratios to give you different top end speeds or you can sacrifice top end and go for more torque so that is uh, another option is gears but if you're going to do that if you're going to replace the gears in the drive box that is really meant for carts that have the factory tires on them so let's say we keep the same engine in here but we replace the gears along with giving it a lift in bigger tires the bigger tires, and this will be the third option, I'll explain this, along with the gears, will multiply together and really overwork the engine to the point where I'm not even sure the thing would really want to roll down the road. Those gears are meant to take the same engine RPM and translate it to the tires to get them to spin faster. Well, if you put bigger tires on without changing anything else in the golf cart, it'll go faster because you have a bigger rotating circumference when you put on bigger tires, making the golf cart go faster. So if you combined switching the gears and put on bigger tires, you're, you're not, the, the cart's really not going to go anywhere. It's going to have zero torque. So when you swap the gears, that's what the idea that you're going to keep the factory size tires that I think it's a, 12 inch tire so 12 or 11 inch tire so uh, if you were wanting to do a uh, like a slammed golf cart or uh, just keep it the factory height and just keep the tires you know you can do aftermarket ones different rims and tires you just the same out uh, the same diameter but you still want the golf cart to go faster that's where you would replace the gears um, as opposed to putting bigger tires on. So now the third option is bigger tires. So let's say we keep the same engine, the same transmission gearing. So we're not playing with anything underneath the, the body there. We're only messing with the tires. The factory has the factory RPM setting with the factory size tires that translates into a certain mile per hour. Let's just say 12. Let's say 12 miles an hour, foot to the floor with factory setup. If you replace the factory tires with bigger tires, which I have done, that same RPM translated to the tires will make the golf cart go faster when you have bigger tires. And like I said before, you have a bigger, you have a bigger diameter and a a longer circumference around the wheel that you're turning on that translate to a higher top end speed. You do lose some torque. Um, so if you are carrying four people all the time and you're in a really hilly country or doing some serious off road where it's not grass, you're actually in gravel, sand, dirt, putting on bigger tires, you know, we'll make it go faster. You will lose some torque, but that's where if you're doing some serious off-road or pulling, I'd look into maybe doing an engine swap or something like that because 
you are losing torque with bigger tires. For me, in this area, we have some hills. Um, it's all paved. When we go to VIR, it's paved in grass, and the land is relatively flat. It's kind of the same area in uh, North Carolina, little Piedmont hills. Um, so for me, and I'm not towing a lot, and I really don't carry four passengers all the time. That's very rare. I will speak on that in a minute um, with a concern with that. But for now, factory engine, factory setup with bigger tires works for me. I will say my golf cart, the setup the way it is with all the upgrades and the tuning, this cart does 20 miles an hour foot to the floor. So um, that's what you get when you have the factory engine with uh, 20, let's see, um, 22 and a half inch tires. So uh, third option is put on bigger tires will make the golf cart go faster. Now let's, let's talk about some issues with everything in here, some concerns. First off, when you put on bigger tires, you're going to need to do a lift kit. That's just because those tires are not going to fit underneath the golf cart um, with the with the factory spring setup. So if you're going to put on bigger tires, also account for that you're going to have to put on a lift. So for you, that could be more money, more time, more effort. So just keep that in the back of your back of your head when looking at doing that. Um, if and I, I've said this throughout multiple videos. If you're putting on a lift kit, four bigger tires, and you want this thing to go faster, I have found my golf cart, it gets really squirrely at that speed to the point where it's on the brink of losing control and flipping. Um, I will explain in another video, I've had to do a ton of research and also looking at, from the physics standpoint myself, on what is happening with this golf cart and why, uh, if you know, if front of the golf cart's going this direction, it'll want to, it'll want to do this. If I'm driving at at foot to the floor top speed uh, with three plus people on here, so I'll explain that some other time. Um, but when you do a lift kit, bigger tires, and you're going faster, this golf cart becomes very unstable. So, you know, the initial one is to make it go faster, but you also need to know what you're doing and what danger you could be putting yourself in. So just be aware of that and the decisions that you make, be aware that you can make something unstable, uh, very tip happy. Um, so that's why when you see, uh, golf carts that are street legal, they don't do the, the bigger wheel and tire upgrade. They do the gearing system because they want to keep those smaller tire tires, which keeps the golf cart lower to the ground. Um, so the, the gears just help it go faster, but the golf cart still remains sound and, uh, and safe to drive at higher top speeds. Um, but those are the concerns that I've seen, uh, with this golf cart. Those are the ways that you can make it go faster. I would say look at your options, what you're willing to spend, um, what time you have, because putting on a lift kit and bigger tires is less time, less effort than dropping the transmission, splitting it apart, and putting in gears. Um, that's a different undertaking. So figure out what you want to do, um, what approach works best for you. Also, if you put on bigger tires, look at my uh, torque spring video. I explained that when you put on bigger tires, you lose torque and how that spring helps manage, you know, the gears, the shifting, uh, so that you, your golf cart isn't completely, um, hindered from torque with the, with the original setup. So, um, hopefully this was helpful so that you can see the different options uh, that you have for making it go faster. Be smart when you're making your decision. Really think about um, possible problems that are going to come up from it. 
and just don't get hurt. Uh, it's not worth it. Golf carts don't rebound from crashing. Uh, they kind of, I don't want to say explode, but a lot of stuff gets broken and shredded to the point where it's just completely totaled. And it's not worth fixing up because so much is broken. Well, y'all have a good one. Hopefully, It's raining right now. I don't know if you can see it on there. But hopefully uh, y'all have a good Saturday. And uh, we'll catch y'all later.